What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna be installing this head unit here. This head unit was actually purchased from um, crutchfield.com. This is not a sponsored video. But anyway, if you go ahead and purchase any head unit off of their website, they actually send you everything that you need to install it. Um, so they actually sent me um, the wiring harness adapter, Hi. as well as this uh, double, din, double din trim, um, along with the head unit itself. Um, so I actually saved some time and actually went ahead and pre-wired it up. Um, it's actually simple because it actually tells you what wire goes where. Um, it'll be different for every other car. So I went ahead and did this off camera. That would be it would be that way it'll be easy to just drop it into the car. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and prep the car uh, to put this in. I'm also gonna be installing a reverse camera, so you're gonna see me um, install that as well. So let's go ahead and go outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the reverse camera first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this panel off. It's gonna be same like the XB, so if you need a like step-by-step -step process on how to do it. You can go ahead and watch that video. Um, just search up reverse camera on my channel and you should be able to find it. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and fly through this. Alright guys, so I got the old head unit here. I'm gonna go ahead and swap over these brackets to the new head unit, or the new double din. Okay guys, here it is. Um, I swapped over the brackets from the original um, head unit, and uh, I popped in this uh, double din trims that comes with the kit, just like this. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back in the car. Um, this is the wiring, this is the wiring harness um, that came with the kit. Um, I guess it's for Toyotas. It's pretty simple, as you can see. There's a whole bunch of labels on it, and then on on this side here, you can't really tell, but there's actually um, labels on the wires itself on this end that tell you exactly where they go. So it was pretty pretty easy to do the swap um, with the wiring. So pretty much all I gotta do is plug this in and see if it works. So let's do that right now. All right, so now everything's put together. We're gonna go ahead and test it out before we put everything back together. from you and medical ex so I forgot to plug in the camera which would be this and then this would be the reverse sensor for the camera Let's see. Ooh, it works guys reverse camera works Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all this back together and then um, I'll show you guys the end product. All right guys, so this is it. Uh, the double dane has been installed in the car for about three months now. And uh, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. The only downside to this particular head unit for me is that it doesn't have GPS. Um, it's not too bad of a problem because I, I use my iPhone for GPS anyway. But uh, it would be nice to have it on screen, you know? And as well as something I noticed is for some reason, it won't let me play my music from the USB here. Um, it'll charge my iPhone and everything, but it won't let me play my music from my device. Um, but other than that, everything else works. I don't have any complaints other than that. Um, like I said, I purchased this off of Crutchfield. It came with pretty much everything that I needed to install. You know, 
um, the mounting brackets, these little trims on the side, um, the wire harness that, you know, just plugs and plays into the factory harness so you don't have to cut that up, which I highly recommend, you know, even if you don't purchase from Crutchfield. But yeah, um, like I said, you know, for the price I paid for this budget, double din, you know, it works out perfectly for this far runner. Um, it fits nicely and uh, if you need something under 200 bucks, I would definitely recommend this. Um, unless you have money to dish out for a GPS unit, then I would say go ahead and do that. But if you're not looking for something with GPS and something more, you know, basic, I would definitely recommend this right here. Um, if you purchase purchase this off of Crutchfoot, I believe it's about it's about 150. I, I would say um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put the price up. Um, but I know I saw this at AutoZone and they were asking 250, so 100 dollars more, and that doesn't even come with the wiring harness or these. Uh, mounting brackets or anything like that um, So definitely check out Crutchfield again. Like I said, this is not a paid advertisement I just really like what they're doing. So go ahead and like this video. Give me a big thumbs up I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out